Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to clinic management system tutorials today is our lecture number 20 and in today's lecture I am going to demonstrate how can you uh, perform the reset operation on your checkup window and furthermore we will create uh, the query for uh, the report that we will going to print uh, soon after the checkup is completed ok so let's start and have a look what we have today alright uh, let me show you the previous tasks uh, you might have noticed that the UI is a little bit uh, changed because I have changed my LCD and LED so that is why the UI maybe uh, you find it a little bit different uh, as per the previous uh, as per in the previous lectures but no problem the things are remaining the same because I have the I have opted the uh, responsive layout for my uh, windows ok. So let us go to the uh, first let us go to the patients and let us add a new patient uh, 0311 dash 123 that is my phone number that is a new patient and let us say the name of the patient is Hassan and the father name is Tahir and then age is 32 and the appointment date is let us say 25th May uh, at this time whatever the time you will can select and the appointment is be taken for doctor whatever the doctor will be and then click save. So the data is now added and you have the previous appointments uh, that is already uh, not yet finished now ok. So, let us go and uh, go on the checkup window. So, you can notice here the checkup window is fine, but the thing that is uh, cut uh, at the bottom that is the disease list box and the scan laboratory test list box. Okay. So, uh, you can uh, move your uh, these all the UI elements or the controls uh, towards the top area so that the space can be uh, managed and occupied. So, no problem. Let us uh, start and see the patients for 25th of May. So, you can see on 25th you have two patients. Uh, so, recently I have added this patient when you click call patient. So, look only the details of that patient are appearing here ok. And when you select this patient that is Naeem and when you select you can see the previous appointment details of that patient is already coming. Now, the problem is uh, let us say Naeem is now coming uh, going to check up again. So, he has headache let us say and the pulse is let us say 90 and everything is 90 for checking purposes and then the symptoms ok. So, let us say fatigue and add and let us give some other medicine let us say brufen and it should be taken as like this in morning afternoon night and external medicine instead of rejects I am giving here let us say nubrol and this is not inside my database ok. So, we have to select the dosage also now it is fine. Now, the lab tests I am not going to pass any lab tests and DEFG is the remark and the fees is again 1000 rupees. Now, uh, today is 25th May Naseem has already checked up these things and now click save. So, you can see the checkup is now successfully added, but the data is not refreshed that is the problem. So, we have to clear the records ok. So, uh, let us come again and uh, load the checkup window again. So, on 25th of you have two patients still why these patients are appearing here these patients should not appear here because as the checkup is completed. So, the patient should not come here ok on 25th. So, let us uh, go and see uh, what is the problem. So, close this go on the solution explorer and go on the checkup window that is this one all right. So, my window is now open. So, when you are selecting the patient basically uh, and when you are calling the details of the patient. So, double click on this and see what is behind this uh, on the patient drop down list there is nothing ok. So, that is validated now on load let us see load today's patient load today's patient is the method let me zoom it and right click on this function and then go to its definition and then here you have the day the month and the year and get today's patient is the procedure name. So, let us go and open the database close this one and go to CMS go to programmability and procedures you have all the procedures and here you need to open which procedure get today's patient. So, where is that get today's patient here we have this 
right click and then modify. You can see the patients are coming with respect to the turn number, but there is no status. Okay. So, only those patients should appear whose statuses are changed. So, you have to write here PA, uh, the name of the patient appointment table dot status should be equal to 0. So, only those patients whose checkup is not yet held, only those patients should appear here. So, uh, execute this, that was a problem in my query. So, I have updated this and now um, what is next step? Let us start and see whether those patients are appearing still or not. Okay, so, admin, now let us add another patient. Uh, phone number can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, uh, no, um, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 and the patient name is let us say Umair and the father name is Vakas and age is 26 and the appointment is for 25th and the appointment is from Dr. Yasser and then click save. Now, that is my new appointment and you can notice uh, th those appointments that are not yet finished only appeared or are, are displaying here on this window. Okay. okay. So, now let us go and go to the patients, sorry, check up window and here you can click add and then go on 25th and when you click here, so see we have Umair and we have Hassan. So, when you call it, it is not yet checked and when you call it, it is not yet checked. Okay. So, let us do this, let us do the appointment for this also uh, or you can say check up. Okay, now, it is fine. Let me change the values 50 so that you can see the difference in the results and the symptoms. Let us say leg pain or whatever you can say leg pain add and then prescription. Look, now Brufen is already added inside my database. So, doctor can add any uh, medicine okay. and then external medicine I am not providing, lab test I am not providing. Okay, and QRT is the remark and the fees is let us say 1000 rupees and then click save. So, look data is saved and then and now when you come here at this particular point you can see Umair is now removed, but the data is not clear. So, we have to clear the records. So, so let us go and clear these records. For this purpose I have already the method that is residing inside the main class and here you can notice I have already created this reset enable. Okay. In this reset enable the problem is it is with respect to the panel. Do we have the reset enable with respect to the group box? No. So, what I can do? I am copying this reset enable function. I have copied this copy let me zoom in now and now paste it here. So, I have pasted now my reset enable function, but this time I am using here group box. Okay. So, for each control B in group box, I hope it is clear to everyone. Now, what you can do? You can add a condition here if the control that you have taken from the group box is also a group box. If C is a group box, I am doing the recursion process. Okay. So, if C is group box, then what you can do? You can call your function that is reset enable and then what you are asking, you are providing here your group box. So, what you can, how can you write that? Let me show you. Uh, come here and just create an object of group box gb is equals to typecast group box and then the control is in c and then pass your group box so what you have done here if the control is a group box look you are already passing a group box if your group box contain another group box then what will happen this function will call itself again okay so the nesting will occur this is known as recursion when a function calls itself why I am doing this? Let me show you. Look, here you have details group box. Inside that details group box, 
you have this group box you have this group box you have this group box and all that i hope it is clear to everyone one thing that is this one that's the global thing and one more thing you have the table layout panel as well okay so if you have a table layout panel then you can do first we'll see whether this function works or not so that's my reset enable save it and because you have created your main program or change your main program so you have to rebuild it because that's your separate module so rebuild rebuild succeeded now when you have rebuilt your main program clean it done all and now let's go and in the checkup window here after saving where is the save button code let me make it a little bit smaller now it's fine so let's go to the save button Mm, yes here is the save button and now at the end of this page that is this here we have to call this method so main class dot reset enable and then bracket open look it is asking you to provide your group box okay so what is the name of your group box uh, the name of my group box is group box one so if i pass here group box one let us see what will happen okay so save it now what it is saying that it said that it had some invalid arguments no problem the reason behind that is because in this cms the references you have in the main class delete it and now right click and then add reference and then select your files again from the references so browse and then desktop and then products and then b sorry cms and then you have the main class bin debug and look there are no dlls right now so we have to build it again so let us do rebuilding right so let us rebuild it again uh, that's my main class so right click and build again okay build succeeded now uh, we have to uh, come and add the main class reference again so reference browse and then desktop and then details and then this one and then we have main class and then win and then debug and then look my dll is now added so this is how you can add the reference and now uh, the error is removed and let us see what is the result after calling this so login checkup now let's do the checkup for 25th may of this hasan and then login right so uh, the details are now loaded let us uh, add some disease let's say he has some c sickness okay so that's a disease let's say that's a dummy data and then the pulse is 45 the temperature is 101 and the blood glucose is uh, 70 and now let's say symptoms so i have a symptom let's say vomiting and add it and then the medicine that i should give here is let's say pediasure i'm weak in the medical terms but uh, the things that i know i can okay so that's pediasure and then uh, i'm not giving any uh, medicine okay let us give painkiller and how much it will take morning and evening now it's fine any test okay so we can provide him a test and then whatever will be the remarks and then the fees is 1000 rupees and then click save when you have saved so look there is no refresh there is no refresh yet so that means because you have some different controls inside within that so let us see what is inside that basically here you have a table layout panel so that means you have to reset the control within the table layout panel instead of group box so what you can do you can come here and you can um instead of this code you can add the same function for table layout panel so copy this and paste it below and now that's another overloaded version but with respect to 
table layout panel let me write here table layout panel okay now it's fine so uh, whatever the control that i will pass if the control is group box then reset again you can reset you can call the function and then uh, the rest of the code will work okay now uh, we have to rebuild again because we have again changed the code so rebuild rebuild succeeded and now let's start and see login okay let's add another patient the existing patient let's say so 0 3 3 and 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 so no that's not the patient um, I should check any existing patient let's say inside the tables patient registration right click and edit top 200 rows okay, so the name the phone number is this okay so copy and come here and paste so you can see the last appointment date and the details of that and the last appointment details are already coming here okay uh, with the with this name now appointment is taken again for Yasser and the date is 26th and click save again the appointment is now taken and now let's go back and go to the checkup and here you can select your date let's say doctor is going to check Junaid call patient look the previous history of that patient is appeared that the last appointment date was 8th and that these are the details that these are the things that you have given now let us select C sickness add and then pulse is 100 I am not going to add temperature and blood glucose and then symptoms add uh, and then I am only giving external medicine so let's say rejects add okay we have to add this okay and then we have to do this also add and then remarks let's say tick and we have the fees then and now click save after saving this but the problem is we haven't called that function we have created the function but we haven't called that function so that's our uh, another mistake so let's go and do that uh, in the code you have to come here and you have to call it at this particular point you have to write here table layout panel so which table layout panel should I take it's it's this table layout panel let me select okay that's my table layout panel 2 okay so um, come here and write table layout panel 2 select table layout panel 2 now that's fine and let's see what is the result login and then you have to get the checkups do we have checkup for today no we don't have any checkup so we have to add up certain patients for checkup but one thing let me show you these are certain other patients that that, uh, that are yet to be checked okay so appointment is for 23rd April no problem let us go and select 23rd April and you can see the data is appearing here okay so on 23rd April this data is coming data is loaded any disease added nothing to check symptoms I'm going to add let's say vomiting and then internal medicine I'm going Panadol select uh, once a day add I'm not giving external medicine I'm not giving any test remarks QRT and thousand is the fees and then click save and then click OK so notice the things are refreshed at this part but list box is not cleared everything is cleared only the list boxes are remaining that means my reset enable function is remaining with the list box reset function so let's go and do that also go to the main class and look guys this is the one time function now you don't need to do this again and again so what you can do you can write here if you find the list box if c is a list box okay then what you can do list box list box lb is equals to round brackets 
list box that is type casting and then you specify your um, control and then what you can do list box dot items dot clear simple but the problem is I think it will not work because my list boxes are data bound list boxes my list boxes are data bound list boxes so instead of this if I write here lb dot data source is equals to null then maybe it will work okay so I am removing the data source so let us see what is the result when we call this reset enable function and where is what where is that code let me show you okay here it is and one thing that you must write here is lb dot enabled equals to true because you have to look for overall software so enabled equals to true and that's it and one more thing that you have to do is you have to check whether the tab stop is true or not so where is that list box yes here we have so if lb dot tab stop is equals to equals to true that's the validation see previous lectures for this why, why i have done this so if it's equals to equals to false then do nothing else come here and put this code so if the tab stop is false all right so uh, I have done this code same as the code for others I have already done in the previous lectures guys so I hope it is clear to everyone what I am doing so um, let's go and see what's the result so uh, login and then patients and then view so still we have the patients for 22nd of April so let's go and check up those patients of 22nd April so 22nd April and now I have let's say Razak call it and then give any thing pulse is 20 temperature is 20 this is the dummy data this is not original data so don't worry about the values okay and then medicines add oh I have every time I forget to add select this and then you have to click pediasure and then morning and then add and then nubrol add no tests and then remarks our QRTE and then fees is 1000 rupees so uh, let's save this and see whether it is refreshing or not so still the list boxes are aren't refreshed so why let us see though I have already uh, cleared the things at this particular point but still they are not refreshed so what I can do now I can check by rebuilding this let us rebuild I think I haven't rebuilt the project the uh, rebuild this uh, and then uh, let's start and see on 22nd we have checkup and then add April 22nd Harris and now disease this pulse is this symptom is this and the medicine is this and then that's it no no external medicine and remarks qrt and fees is 1000 and then click save and still the lists are not clear okay now uh, that was the database approach now what can i do i can come here and make it okay one thing let me check tab stop of the list boxes do we have tab stop true or false here so tab stop is true that means this code will definitely run okay so let's box dot items dot clear okay now let us see uh, what will happen so uh, come here and then right click on your main class and then clean it and then rebuild it and then clean solution and then start login Okay, why it is not loading the error appeared okay uh, again the reference is the problem so let us go and see what is the problem 
uh, stop debugging and rebuild the solution rebuild succeeded now let's check login now it's fine check up and add 22nd April now you have sad and then call and then add add one more and here you can add 45 45 and 45 symptoms are this and this can you add the again look the same symptom cannot be added again okay so that's the security feature now internal medicines this okay select this and now remarks and then fees okay and now click save so it is saved and now uh, still the list boxes are not getting clear so we have to take care of this one yes the reason behind that these list boxes are stored inside the group box okay notice here these list boxes are stored inside the group box so uh, the problem is this so what you can do come uh, come to the code and go to your main program and instead of adding list box here it's good to add list box here but you have because you have the uh, function calling itself again and again so reset enable with respect to the group box so this is the function reset enable with respect to the group box and here you have to pass the list box as well okay so when you are in the group box then it will check for the list box also okay and then click uh, save and then rebuild because that's a modular application so you have to be very careful with respect to these all things now let's check let's first clean the solutions rebuild the solution everything should be rebuilt okay look no uh, don't worry about these errors clean the solution first and then build the solution again and rebuild it okay there are errors because let me start it and see it is working login and check up okay it is giving me errors 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 and errors so it's better to control z it's better to uh, recall the references so crude remove right click add reference and browse and uh, cms let's go to the crude bin debug crude dll is now added and furthermore you need okay first add these two crude is added again now let's start login check up still the error is appearing main class error so okay let's go and do that for uh, do this also so main class remove right click add reference select your main class again that is inside the CMS main class bin debug main class DLL and click OK and then save and then now build the solution so that it is updated and now start let's see what is the result why it is saying me that these cannot find the stored procedures it was working let me check so on checkup window double click okay so these are the crude ones so rebuild your crude here okay rebuild your main class and now start and see whether it is loading or not yes the things are now working so add and on 22nd the patients are nowhere so let's go to the patients and view now we have left with two patients only and that is the false data so let us add another patient so 0111 dash 123 and then patient name is let's say Farooq and then mother father name is 
Jamal, let's say, and 26 is the and the appointment date is let's say today's date, Dr. Yasser, and then click save. And now Farooq is the patient, and now here you can go on the checkup screen and then click on 24th. You can see Farooq, call the patient details, and now cuff add add details and then symptoms okay and then diseases and here you can add the sorry medicines and then i'm not passing the tests but for sake of check you can add and then remarks and then fees and then click save and then click okay so you can see everything is now cleared except these things so that means there is still something remaining that these text boxes are not cleared okay so uh, okay apart from these things this this left hand portion should also be cleared okay for that purpose let's do and finish it up so come on this part and select this so that's your which panel that's your left panel okay so when you are saving when you are saving let me go on the save button click where is that control f save button yes here we have and in the last let us reset the left panel also so here you are resetting this and you have to reset main class dot uh, reset enable sorry disable and here you are disabling the left panel resetting and disabling the left panel okay so we'll have to see whether it is working or not and one more thing that is not uh, yet happened that is the text box so let us go and see is these text boxes are um, allowed drop true yes so we can make it allow drop false because this is the reason that is why these controls were not validated now it's fine allow drop is now false except sorry tab stop where is tab stop tab stop is true tab stop is true and tab stop is true now these controls will be validated because i have applied a condition that Though for those controls whose tab stop is false and whose allow drop is true this, those control will not be validated that's why uh, these controls are left behind now that's fine and let's do the final check uh, login and then um, again you have to add a patient so 0311-1111 okay and then Kumail is the patient and then Yasir and then age is 23 24th May appointment 4 and then save then come and then come here and then go to checkup add patient is Kumail and then call okay when you are calling the patient uh, it should display the turn number okay so the turn number is displaying outside the screen Let, let's say right now the turn is uh, for Yasser so let's open the turn screen so after 10 seconds you can notice the turn will be picked up or the turn will be displayed on the screen okay automatically the current patient that the doctor has selected so look so whatever when the doctor will select any particular patient his or her turn number will be popped out on the screen outside the uh, inside the waiting area you can say and the patient will then see and then come inside the uh, to see the doctor okay so that's what it's just like banking systems you have so uh, let's go and come here and then go to checkup and now do the checkup finally for Kumail look when you click this button then that that functionality has started now let's add some data fever add headache add pulse is 100 temperature is 102 blood sugar is 78 that means glucose or sugar and then chest pain are the symptoms fatigue is the symptom and brufen in the morning you have to take and um, phenadol and external medicine let me give you a 
this one and add and let us add urencia and the remarks should be QRT let's say and the fees is this one click add now everything is filled up okay when I press save everything should become clear and look the details are cleared okay so when I now click add so look again the next step okay so now the next check is when you are consequently checking two patients what is the result let me add two patients now so patients add phone number one two three look on one two three I have already that patient the details is are, are appeared appointment for Dr. Yasser and save okay now let me add another patient that is zero 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 and then look Razak is the patient and the last appointment was on 22nd and then click save now I have two patients and the turn number is 5 and turn number is 6 okay because the previous patient was 4 now what you can do you can come on checkup you can add you can select the patient Saad call the details look the previous details are appearing here okay now you can select data whatever that data you can add and click add and then roof in then uh, select and then this one and then click add no tests and the remarks and fees and then click save now you can see if the details of that patient are there then the list box should also be clear here the list box is remaining okay we'll cover that now before going further let us select Razak now and then click call patient when I have called patient the details are now changed okay the details are now changed now let us add some other details sea sickness the pulse the temperature okay and then the blood sugar let's say and symptoms add I'm not going any internal medicine regex I'm adding it and then uh, the test and then remarks whatever and then save and then click save so look the data is now saved so you can consequently add multiple records together the one thing that you have to do is to clear these list boxes simple and one other thing let's say if the patient if the doctor wanted to alter or modify the checkup details so we have to create another window on which when the patient can when the doctor can select the recent uh, checked patient then the details of that patient should appear just like this and then the doctor can add or remove certain medicines there as well and then update also so we'll have we'll have we'll also do that but let us first clear these things so in order to clear the list boxes what we have to do uh, that's your panel right so we have to go to your main program and reset enable with respect to panel where is that first copy the list box code this one copy and uh, where is the reset enable with respect to panel yes here at this particular point you have to paste it like this and then save it and then come here and then again rebuild rebuild succeeded now start the project login check up and I don't have any patient so patient and then click add and then 321 Harris is the patient and then um, save appointment taken all right so patient is now added let us go to the checkup window so guys look how much rigorous testing is required when you are doing this look the details are now coming and let us add now I'm not going to add a disease I'm just going to check up this one and this one and the symptoms let's say vomiting add doctor has given Panadol before sleep that's it remarks any remarks fees is 500 and then click save the data is saved and still the list boxes are not clear that means there is something still not clear all right so the problem is I have called this reset disable function with respect to the panel so here in the main program you have to copy this list box code and you have to paste here inside that disable reset disable right 
so that's my reset and disable so here you have to paste it and for list box you have to make them enabled false control Z s now it's fine so when this function will called so the controls will be cleared and enabled false so let's go and check login check up okay first of all we have to add a patient so 999 patient name is let's say uh, Zubair Wasim and age is 23 appointment for Dr. Yasser and then save and then come here and then check up and then add and then select Zubair and then call the patient details and now um, okay but how can I check I have to call some other patient that have the details so triple one no one two three one two three yes appointment for Dr. Yasser and the date I'm picking is let's say 28th and now save let's come on the checkup and click and 28 and the patient is sad and now the details are there there are no diseases simple pulse temperature blood that's 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 the sugar okay blood sugar and then chest pain and then anything okay that's it and remarks and then fees and then click save when you click save still the details are not cleared I think the problem is remains the same I think we have the tab stop issue or the allow drop issue let us go and check so select this list box and see yes allow drop is true allow drop is true that is why okay so uh, you have to be very careful with th with this task okay no problem leave it because if I make it allow drop false then other validations then come into the context okay then other validations then come into the context let me show you if I make them allow drop false and this one and this one and this one so let us see what will what will happen let us add first patient 000, zero. appointment for dr yasser save back check up add uh, what was the date 28th not 28th it was 24th i think no Razak yes and now uh, there are no disease pulse is this temperature is this blood is this let us verify what will happen and see add okay and then remarks and then fees and then save okay still the details are not cleared okay so we have to go on the functions actually actually the problem is uh, we have already disabled these list boxes we have already disabled these list boxes let us see the tab stop tab stop true tab stop true this is also another problem that is why it is not resetting tab stop true tab stop its tab stop is true its tab stop is true now true 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 and true and true one final check now <coughs> login patients add 000 razak appointment save come here and then check up and then Razak okay if this is is this will clear okay let's pick up Zubair but Zubair doesn't have any data let's pick up Razak okay so now disease add 
90, 90 and 90 and then symptoms and then any disease and then click add remarks and then fees ok and then click save ok but so that is it uh, that is all from my side uh, th there is a problem in between somewhere I think I have left with some uh, somewhere the condition is skipping so I suggest you recommend you because the length of the video is going go, uh, onwards and onwards so it is not a good idea to increase the recording uh, unnecessarily so the problem is nothing but with the uh, uh, reset code only so we have to deal we have to t uh, tackle what is the problem with the reset code simple otherwise all the things are remain are going in a good manner and now let us uh, what we have to do further we have to create another window on which we can be able to uh, show the patients whose uh, uh, checkup is completed and now the time is for payment ok so uh, I am stopping here I am finalizing the checkup window today and that's all for today i hope you have understood everything if you do not understand please do write me thank you so much take care allah hafiz